I feel like after seeing that and then her back on Raw in the ring talking on the mic with Trish, this is a huge sign of how they feel about Zoe because she's not even she's been on the roster on Raw for like a month, has had one match and just had backstage segments that were just kind of like, what are we doing here? And they then immediately throw her into the middle of a feud with Becky, who's the top girl on Raw, other than Rhea, and Trish Stratus. Like, who is the top girl? If yeah, Here if that's is. not an indication of how they feel, then I don't know what it is. But they had a good moment. Uh, Trish comes out and starts mocking Becky for losing. Says, "I told you so." Zoe comes out and says that she just wanted to be an immediate, make an immediate statement since joining Raw. And there was no better way to do that than joining forces with Trish and going against Becky, basically what we just said. And she made sure to say thank you, Trish. So I feel like I want one of those shirts. Like, I feel like I want I one. I thought about it. I thought yeah. about it. I'm not going to do I'm, it. I'm thinking about, I it. about it. I'm thinking about it because I just got paid and I did pretty well last month on my article. So I'm like, should I? I feel like I might need to indulge in some WWE shirts. So yeah, we'll you got to get some merch there. I'm like, I know I'm, I I. I think I need a pretty deadly shirt. So Becky comes out and demands a match. A match. She attacks Trish, but they get the best of her and they beat her up. And then they leave her in the ring with the thank you Trish shirt on. So I am so here for this. I am very excited to see how it goes. And um, I, I, I like that they brought in Zoe because like you were saying, like if Trish isn't there every single week, then this gives Becky somebody to deal with and it's not like keeping her off tv or having her feud with a camera basically like we've complained about several times 